back here high noon leatherworks for another leather adventure and in this episode we're going to continue the kukri knife sheath project so today you can see i've got my small uh, drill press bench top drill press set up and we're going to get to uh, drilling the pilot holes for the stitching process on this knife sheath. So come on in and let's get started. All right, changing the camera angle just a little bit today because if I put it on the side I normally put it on, then every time I come down and drill a hole, it's gonna be right in the way of the camera. So I put it on the left side. So that's why it looks a little different today. And what I'm going to do, what I found out, well, if you saw the last episode, if not, go back and take a look at it. But I did my grooving on the front. I did my grooving on the back side. You could see that light colored line with my pilot holes for stitching in there. And unless those match up absolutely perfect, if you drill a hole all the way through, you may not hit that stitching or that groove line on the back side. It may be just a hair off to the top or a hair off to the bottom. So I, what I did basically was I created myself a lot more work um, because what I'm going to have to do is drill halfway through on the front side so that I'm on my groove line, my stitch line flip it over and drill halfway through on the back side to where those holes do meet up but I make sure that my holes are in that groove line if those holes are in and out of that groove line and you're putting a stitch through there it's not going to look very good so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through drill halfway through on the front side and following my groove line and my stitching marks that I made, my pattern marks, and I made those on the last episode with a stitching tool. And I didn't punch those all the way through, I only made a mark so I knew where to drill. So. I guess I could have done the same thing with that tool and punched it on both sides but I find on when you have three thicknesses or more of leather and you're stitching it with a needle I find it's much cleaner easier uh, and quicker if you have a nice clean hole uh, one of the comments I got from uh, the last video when I did this uh, was instead of using a drill bit that actually takes out material just use the needle put the needle in here in the chuck that you're gonna use when you stitch it and then you just turn on your drill press and push the needle through and that would make a hole a pilot hole without actually taking material out I haven't tried that yet I may try that in the future but right now I feel pretty confident uh, using this so what I'll do is I'll start up my drill press and I'll go all the way around and only drill halfway through the thickness of the sheath. So I may speed this up for you a little bit.
you can see those holes in there and how evenly spaced apart they are. I am using a 1 16th inch drill bit. So it's a very, very small drill bit. It's not taking out a ton of material, as you could see as I was drilling through. But it makes a beautiful, straight, perfectly round hole. So I'm going to continue going around the front, and then I'll be back. Alright, there's the first side completely done. You can see the holes all the way across and that light, they show up really well. So that's on the front side. Now I'm going to flip it over to the back side and I'm going to drill halfway on those, on that groove mark in the same spot because I used the same pattern maker tool so that I know that they're the same distance apart and I'm going to go through and I'm going to see double check these that they're meeting up so that's the first thing I'm going to do and I'll go ahead and drill a couple of them to make sure they're meeting up and all I have to do is hold it up into the light and I can see that those holes are going all the way through I can see the light and let me grab a needle real quick and I can double check it that way too And you can see that needle coming through there. So they are meeting up and they're both on that groove line and that's that's the main key is that they're both on the groove line. Um, you can imagine what that would look like if they didn't meet up and they weren't on the groove line themselves. So I'm going to go ahead, drill the rest of these halfway through. Uh, stay tuned. I'll probably fast forward this for you, and I'll be back.
right, so there's the holes on that side. And you can see them pretty well. There you go, with the right along the groove line in that light. You can definitely see them at the top. All right, there's all the holes prepared for the stitching on both sides, front and the back. Now that that glue's had time to set up, I'm not sure if we can get by with sliding that knife in there. Um, I'd hate to pop that apart, but it gives you the idea of how that knife's going to slide in. Going to slide in like so. And then this part will fold over and snap. And it feels like it's going to hold it in there super snug. So the next step is to get this stitched. And then we can move on to the next step. So thanks for coming by, hanging out with me, seeing how I'm doing the pre-drilling of the stitching holes. And come back for the next episode. We'll be stitching this up. And I look forward to seeing you again. As I always say, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.